morning viewers and welcome to the Mira newspaper. I am Peter Marini with the news headlines for the week ending 16 April 2022. By British town clerk Laud Ramachapola has called for 12 days paternity leave so that men can be with their wives when they give birth. Ramachapola said he comes across many male workers who apply for leave days to attend to their wives when they give birth. 30-year-old soldier Milton Mutumbi, stationed at Infantry 41 Brigade, has appeared before Masungo Magistrate Araitaiswe Silaiguana, charged with theft after he allegedly broke into a shop at Mchekerang and stole Serevita and some biscuits. Bridge chiefs are tired of government and mobile companies' promises that they are working on improving cellular network. Several chiefs who spoke to two nations said that the whole district is relying on South African cellular networks like MTN and Cell C. Former ZANU PF Chirezi West MP Darlington Shiwa has been accused of neglecting his biological son's welfare and splashing cash on five state kids belonging to a nurse he hooked up with when he was MP. His ex-wife Miriam Danda was granted RTGS $150,000 by Magistrate Diana Musiwa. A 17-year-old Chipinga boy, Kudakwashe Nyamunda, was struck and killed on Saturday with a log after being accused of fondling a 14-year-old girl's breasts. The incident happened at Chizuru Ri village under Chief Musikavanu in Chipinke. A Bible man, Obey Shinaka, aged 41, has told two nations that a popular prophet in the southern region, Mazibaba Emmanuel Mutuma, raised his two-year-old son from the dead on Sunday. Chinaka said his son suddenly fell at home in New Stands near Mbezi in Badbridge on Sunday and passed out. Junior. 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 A Chipinga based mobile registration officer, Sarah Mupangu, and her accomplice, Priska Musava, have appeared at the local courts for demanding bribes from villagers applying for birth certificates and national identity cards. ZANU PF has suspended its district coordinating committee chairperson for Chikomba district. Alfred Pedzisa for allegedly gross misconduct. ZANU-PF has suspended its district coordinating committee chairperson for Chikomba district, Alfred Pedzisa, for alleged gross misconduct. Minister of Transport Felix Mwana has been appointed acting DCC chairman. Bekita residents denigrated their local authority at a meeting of the Parliamentary Committee on Finance, Budget and Economic Development held on Thursday last week at Bikita Training Center and called it corrupt. The local authority borrowed an estimated US $380,000 to buy state-of-the-art vehicles which were immediately registered in the names of six top managers. Ronde Rural District Council has completed its first major devolution-funded project, the U.S. $215,000 Mabasa Marira Water Pipeline. The project is going to benefit a clinic, five schools, and villages with a population of more than 20,000 people with water. A man from Gokwe was killed on Tuesday last week 
when colleagues that he had been drinking beer with allegedly attacked him with logs. The incident happened at around 9 p.m. at Kambasha Business Center in Gokwe Town. The deceased, Ngiwane, was accused of stealing a 5-liter Mazoi Orange Crush drink, which was allegedly found in his house after a search. 27-year-old Mahomet Katona from Zishawane made a killing after allegedly selling 500 grams of fake gold for US $25,000. He was later spotted in Bridebridge, where he was arrested. He appeared before the Shawane Magistrate's charity Tonongera facing charges of fraud. Tinevi Mbo Seven, aged eight from Chiroza village under Chief Nyashanu in Buhera, was killed on May 30, 2022, when a grenade he was playing with, thinking that it was a ball, exploded in his face. Manikalan Provincial Police Spokesperson Inspector Norbert Mzondo confirmed the incident. Shadrach Chigumbu, an employee at Zialanda Mine in Berengwa, was forced to surrender his cell phone after being struck by a machete by an illegal gold miner, Richard Shoko. Shoko was on Tuesday last week sentenced to four years in prison for cell phone robbery. Chipinge Road District Council has installed 52 street lights at Checheche Growth Point. The Human Resources and Administration Head, Tekshua Madueko, told Chipinge Times last week that the lights were installed at a cost of $6.6 .6 million. Three cyclists have reportedly died after a motorist driving a Jeep Cherokee ran into them at the 15-kilometer peg along GMB Humani Road in Chireti on Saturday. Police spokesperson Kurakwashi Dewa confirmed the accident. The cyclists were riding in a single file to a church service in Mkwasini. A gang of six cattle rustlers arrested for allegedly stealing cattle from Ruputsa and Mundanga villages in Chief Makores area in Gutu have been remanded in custody to June 17, 2022. The suspects appeared before Gutu magistrate Mitchell Panavanu on Friday and Saturday. For this and more news in detail, you can visit the MIRA website displayed on your screen. Pamira Munoa Nokuwikwa. June brings with it the cold weather. From me, Peter Marimi, and the crew behind the scenes, have a warm weekend.